everyone, Andrea here and I thought today, although I've been on booktube a month or so, I thought I would do the booktube newbie tag because why not, it looks fun. I saw this over at Peter's channel, that's Peter Likes Book. I'm going to leave, uh, Peter Likes Books, I'm going to leave a link below to his channel so you can check him out because he's awesome and he has got some awesome reviews and book hauls and rants and just fantastic. So, let's get started. Number one, why did you start this channel? Well, I've been watching uh, various videos on YouTube for a long time and, and I never knew what to post. I knew I wanted to post something and I knew it would be something book related. And at first it was just going to be Marilyn book reviews. But then I saw a wide variety of booktube channels and people and I thought, wow, that is brilliant. I can combine my love for all things bookish and reading and Marilyn because I can still post Marilyn reviews, book reviews. And hey, it's all relevant. So... I thought what a great idea so I watched a load of videos for a while and you know I watched um, obviously Peter Light books and Jesse the reader uh, a book olive words of a reader Jen Campbell um, um oh loads of them I have subscribed to so many and uh, they're really good and so I thought I want to do this I love books so what are some fun and unique things you can bring to book two well fun I don't know I am fun and I love books and I do a lot of play stuff so maybe I can bring some um, fun theatrical readings into it and plays um, yeah and also obviously I love books and love reading and I am a lot older than the majority of booktubers I'm going to admit it I am not 20 21 anymore oh, I wish I was I wish I had their energy because let's be honest their energy is amazing some of these people I just oh, wears me out just watching them but being older obviously I can bring a, a different kind of perspective to books whether they're classic YA's um, thrillers uh, ghost stories anything I've also read a lot of different types of genres over my life I don't just read fiction books I read factual and non-fiction too so uh, oops not the camera then unfortunately you don't see a lot of that on booktube so maybe I could do a bit more on the non-fiction stuff I read as well as the fiction what are you most excited about for with this new channel books 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 sharing books with you that I love books that I don't love books that I want books that I buy books that I've read books that I've listened to books that I've uh, downloaded films I've seen that were based on books and alternative and I want to see what books you're reading I want to find out what you're reading and what I should be reading and just just discovering books and more books because you can never have enough books you know something it's not hoarding when it's books it's a library why do you love reading number four why do I love reading I've always loved reading um as long as I can remember I, I've just always read I can't remember a time when I didn't read obviously there was but I've always, always loved reading and I would quite happily just sit in a room with a book and just read a book from start to finish. Um, whether it's 200 pages, 400 pages, 600 pages, if it's a good book, I can sit and read it from cover to cover in one sitting. And I love to do that. And yeah, I'd, I'd rather read a book than watch TV. It's just, oh, you just open a book and you're transported into another world and you can imagine that world, you see the characters, in film and TV it's decided for you what you're going to see in books it's in your head and that's what I love it makes my imagination run wild so yes what book or book series first got you into reading that's a hard one because you know I started reading like 38 years ago so that's a long time so I don't really remember now I remember the first one of the first books I used to love and this is one that apparently I always used to insist my mum would read it to me as a bedtime story and apparently that was the enormous turnip I don't even know why the turnip was enormous or what this turnip who was so big did but apparently I loved it first books I really remember reading by myself were the famous five series by Enid Blyton and to be honest I really still love them they to me are oh, just amazing so really they got me hooked on on reading and um, and also writing i used to write really silly stories about friends who got into stupid adventures and i remember one of them was killed who who burnt the baked beans i mean who writes a, a story called who burnt the baked beans ha, me <laughs> so there you go what question would you ask your favorite booktuber Ooh, now my favorite booktuber at the moment 
and it will change from time to time depending on what people are reading is Jen Campbell I just think she's fantastic she's a writer she's had four books published there's a new one coming out next year I think which is a children's book looks fantastic she is absolutely brilliant she reads so much she works in a bookshop or she used to work in a bookshop books are her life and oh, she's just fantastic so I would like to ask Jen and I will again we'll link her channel below what I'd like to ask her is if you could have any author you want living or dead come around for a cup of tea and a biscuit obviously who would it be and why so that's what I'd like to know because for me I'd love to meet Thomas Hardy he's one of my favorite authors I've read most of his stuff I'm currently reading his poems and I would just like to, to chat with him over a cup of tea and, and maybe some French fancies or something like that and what challenges, number seven, do you think starting a booktube channel are hardest to over overcome? Well, for me, that is just making sure that A, you've got enough content, B, it's interesting, and C, is getting people to watch it. How do you get people to watch a video? You know, so I would like people to watch my videos. I can't make them, but if they do, that's great. Um, because if I can just touch one person and make one person pick up a book I've loved, then that's a great thing. But it's hard, I think, to get enough interesting content for people to subscribe and want to watch your videos. And if I can do that, that will be great. Right, so that is my newbie booktube tag. If you want to do it, just do it. I'm not going to tag anybody because most of the people I follow have been on booktube forever. Leave a comment below. Like I said, I'm going to put Jen Campbell and Peter Likes Books links below so you can check them out as well and i will be back really really soon <laughs> with my june book haul because i'm off on holiday soon yay so i thought i'd get it done before i go rather than when i come back so i'll see you soon